everybody, welcome back, Unboxing Time, and tonight we have something that only, I only get once a year. Uh, we have this, uh, I don't know what you would actually call this, but anyways, when you subscribe to Marvel Unlimited, hey, uh, you kind of get like a, not a prize pack, but I guess a gift, if you will, and then every time it resubscribes or renews, you get another one. So when I signed up, um, I got a box and had a few comics in it, had a Rocket Raccoon exclusive Legends figure. Uh, when it renewed my second year, <clears throat> I got a bunch of comics, I got uh, some Agent Carter pins, like pins, and uh, an Iron Woman action figure, and uh, so now I got this one, and I got no idea what's in it, and I'm really excited. And also, I spent today, I thanks to uh, Comic Bento, I've become obsessed with Spider-Gwen, like the kind of obsession, I've never done this in my life, I went out and I bought every physical copy of Spider-Gwen I could find, all the variants, everything, the Howard the Ducks with first appearance, all of that, and now set up a subscription or whatever. Um, so I'm obsessed. It'd be awesome if there's something Gwenpool in here. I highly doubt it. It's way too new. Anyways, uh, so I don't remember what Marvel Unlimited costs or anything, but I'll put the link in the description. All that stuff down there. It doesn't help if you use mine, but you might want to check it out because you get access to tens of thousands of, uh, of Marvel comics going all the way back to the beginning. And it's a really cool service and you get all kinds of neat stuff. So uh, give me just a second to figure out how the hell you open this. Okay, I see. <laughs> the flap actually folds all the way around and I did not hide my address and stuff, so... Got to be careful about how I do this. We pull it on out. Well, maybe we do. There we go. All right. And let me do a little feeling. So there may not be a figure this time, which is kind of a bummer. Anyways, one comic, two comic, three comic, and a box. So I don't know. Let's go through the comics then. First, we get a little letter. Yep, nothing important in there that I can't, sh you know, that I can't, you know, nothing, nothing like personal, no personal info. The only thing that bums me out about this is when I signed up, I signed it up under my dad's name, so my initial membership card actually has his name on it, which is kind of a bummer. Maybe one of these days I'll get that uh, figured out. Uh, so let's see what the first comic is. First comic is, backwards, Black Panther number one variant edition. Cool. I have this from the uh, Marvel Collector uh, core with, a, with, of course, the pop art cover. Um, I'm thinking, you know, because I'm kind of digging this whole, like, actual real comics thing, so... I'm thinking of a few other lines I might try and getting into. This might be one of them, so that'll be a fun little read, because I never read the one out of Marvel Collector Corps. All right, comic number two. Nice, Captain Marvel, number six variant edition. So it's not a number one. Uh, very curious about Captain Marvel. You know what, I'm gonna go back and show you that uh, Black Panther in just a minute, because I didn't do that. I forgot how I do these damn unboxings, apparently. Uh, I'll show you off a little bit of the inside art there. Uh, and there you go, there's some more. There's a lot of ads in these things, but you know, that's how it goes. Real quick, let me jump back and show you this Black Panther since I didn't do that properly. I'm just excited to get in here and see what all's in there. Um, and on these variant, I don't know, you know, I don't know if the variant editions have more ads or something. Or maybe that's just common, because like I said, I've been out of physical books for a while, but now I'm, you know, getting back in there. Oh, it's not really a comic page. There you go, there you go. Just giving you a sense of the art and everything. So far, very good. Couple of good reads. I'm in the mood to like read some comics tonight too, so I may be checking these out. Third comic is Doctor Strange, number six variant edition. I just got to uh, Gwenpool issue three, and uh, there's some fun stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, I've been laughing out loud about that. But uh, yeah, so there's that. Let me show you that without the glare. I don't really need to show you the back. Well, we'll show you the back in a minute. Actually, the back of this one's kind of cool. I was gonna say it's just another ad, but. Um, this is actually kind of a fun ad. Oh, that Deadpool thing looks interesting. Uh, there you go. Let me just show you that while I'm looking at the back. Oh, it's a Midtown Comics, so I was just learning about them. Cool. Well, there's the three things. Now we got like a cardboard flap in here, so I'll pull that aside. And we have an action figure. Yes. It is a full-size action figure. It is a female action figure. The head feels interesting. If this is a Gwynpool, I'm gonna crap my pants, but there's no way this would be a Gwynpool. That's too new. Okay, uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, that's a pretty sweet Captain Marvel, actually. Oh, and we got some other stuff in here. Shit, so, um, I'll take her out of the plastic and show her to you in just a minute. Let's, uh, let's see the other stuff. We have a patch. Is that Black Panther? I think that's a Black Panther patch, right? That's what it looks like. You can let me know otherwise, because there's not a card in here that's going to tell me. So, that's a pretty sweet little patch. And then there was one other thing. I think it was a pin, which is cool, because I do like my pins. Oh, that's a really nice pin. That might be better than the Loot Crate DX Eye of Agamotto pin. This is more comic-y, comic accurate. Very, very heavy, high quality pin. That's cool, man. That's going on my jacket, for sure. For sure. Awesome, okay, so nothing else in there. Oh, it's called a membership kit. And I can hashtag Marvel Unlimited, so I'll have to try and remember doing that. 
All right, so let me open this thing up so you guys can get a close look at this Captain Marvel figure that is exclusive to the membership kit. As far as I understand, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is, or else, you know, they'd probably have it in the actual package and all that stuff. It wouldn't just be uh, bagged as, as it is. And, you know, she comes with a variant head. So, you know, you get the full, all the arti articulated points you'd normally get on a Marvel Legends figure. I mean, this is a legitimate Marvel Legends figure. It just doesn't have a box. And uh, it's pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome. I need to start reading some Captain Marvel. And there's her head and all that stuff too. Let me put that where you can actually see it. So, you know, it's, it's just a masked head variant, basically. That is cool, dude. That is cool. I'm really happy with that, actually. Because she's a character I want to start learning a lot more about since we're about to get some movies and everything. So, I need to read up. I've not read much at all. All right, guys, well, there it is. There's the Marvel Unlimited membership kit. I, I want to say it's $60 for the year. Uh, does that sound about right? It'd be like five bucks a month. That's pretty reasonable. Um, you know, for the amount of stuff you get. So if you have a lot of time to read a lot of comics, I highly recommend it. Plus you get these awesome kits every time. So very, very nice. All right, guys, well, that's what I thought. What did you guys think? Comment away, let me know. Do you subscribe to this? Do you get it? Did you get something different? I think all, they're all the same. Uh, but you know, are you gonna subscribe? Just let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you're a Gwynpool fanatic, hit me up and let me know. Just cause, you know, like I said, I'm obsessed with that character on a whole different level than I've been obsessed with things. We're talking like almost, almost Star Wars obsessed, so. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. So click that thumbs up button, give me the thumb of encouragement, cause I do love to be encouraged, and I'll see you guys later.